I wanted to make this video two weeks ago, but my Googling skills needed some work, and I truly regret that it took me this long to make it, but when I found out that Sweden was considering giving slave reparations to the Caribbean islands, or places like that, being a Caribbean guy myself, I figured, well, I wasn't born in the Caribbean, but the Dominican side is hard to take away. It's no wonder that Sweden is vilified and loved for its social justice degeneracy. I mean, it really is degeneracy. I'm not saying that in a... buzzword fashion I really mean it's degenerating as a place but I'm not going to go too hard on Sweden because those nasty Ikea Swedish meatballs are delicious even though they take ages off your life I'm surprised I'm 18. That's it. it. Should have at least done me in at 11. But on the furniture is doo doo too. You see those black drawers and all that stuff that I assembled together from the IKEA collection. All I had to do was slam it really hard during an angry sort of moment in my time during the summer last year, 2012, and now it doesn't work anymore. Now the drawers can't close, the bottom fell off. It's cheap stuff. And I'm not saying that because I'm Hispanic, so I have a bias towards Home Depot, but at least with Home Depot, you know, it's appealing to people that actually have the skills none of this easy do-it-yourself Macintosh-esque furniture but still it was probably one of the best days of my life when I me and my bro actually like fixed up this all this furniture together it was a good sort of generational one generation to the other kind of passed the throne. And with that being said, we're not talking about furniture right now, but that's really the only thing I care about in Sweden. Furniture and meatballs. There might be a couple of rock bands from Sweden I actually like. I know there's a lot of Swiss bands that I like. I'm not sure if in Flames is Swedish or Swiss, whatever. You know, I got to get my facts straight. But the fact that they're so beloved by groups like, or Facebook pages like Being Liberal, which is my the bane of my existence at this point. Shows that it's a place for people that don't check their facts straight. They don't know their stuff. And their heroes are the nation of Ikea. That creeps me out. Because anytime someone shares something from being liberal, and you notice from interacting with me, I will check them up on that. I will tell them, like just this other day, some hot chick was posting about how the CEO, the president of Papa John's, was thinking of cutting hours from their his workers' pay for to protest against Obamacare. 
which turned out to be a bad paraphrase and a lie. He didn't say he was considering this. He said that this... He basically said that businesses may start doing heavy-handed stuff because of Obamacare, which is true, and he can't cut people's hours since Papa John's is an SME business in a way. Not really, but with Papa John's, you're going to get four store chains that are all owned by one person. So it's not in his jurisdiction, even though he's the owner of Papa John's. He may have some ability over it, but it's inconvenient, illogical, and bad business. Place people like being liberal and Huffington Post took his statements and inferred something that was way afield. And that bothers me. So I called her out on it, she said, Oh, lol, my bad. I just got triggered. And it makes me realize that people like being liberal can appeal to commoners because most people don't Google stuff. Ironically, the people that believe everything they see on the internet can't check a Wikipedia article, can't Google anything. And so, we call Generation Y, the Millennials, the Google Generation. I Wikipedia just about everything wrestling related or sports related, music related. Especially guitar related. Gaming, anime. That might take a back seat now as opposed to when I was 12 and 13. And upon thinking of all this on politics, I'll definitely Google and Wikipedia a lot. Facebook social networking sites are the enemy because people look at this, instantly get the short reaction, like it, they won't analyze it, they won't see if it's true, it's on the internet so it must be true, they don't even bother to google stuff like that. I notice political guys that are into politics, into it, at the mass level, will do this. That's what being liberal the Facebook page is for. It's to appeal to them. And it's really impressive because they can basically spread misinformation and people will buy into it. Troll pages like The Onion wish they could have a mass shock value like being liberal. But with The Onion, they're a troll news site. They're not trying to be what being liberal is. Being liberal is full of genuine liars and demagogues and people that'll make the presidents back then look less like fear mongers. That's impressive. Like during the Cold World War, war times. Oh shit! I really need to focus on my speech impediments, but that wasn't so bad. I mean, wrestling fans I notice also do this thing too, where they'll forget important stuff that they could just Google on Wikipedia about the history of wrestling, about the stars. So they'll consider certain main eventers innovators when they're really not, or the best of the best when they're really big fish in small ponds. And it's because they're so focused on their fantasy cards, their Facebook like pages, or Twitter and MySpace fan bases that they forget that they could just Google Wikipedia, do their research. I know Wikipedia is full of leftists. Just look up Aryan and you'll find that their take on racialism, they're really 
the scholarly people there are liberals. And Wikipedia does a good job of citing sources. People say you can just go up there and edit everything. I've seen badly edited Wikipedia pages. One time I saw a Naruto video game, the plot summary for it, and it says that a bunch of flying unicorns eat his brains out, and Sakura becomes a gay male, and she starts masturbating. Some, something like that. In all caps, of course, badly spelled and with grammatical errors. And and that's the better, more functional thing than actually getting on a Facebook like page that tries to be the hub for intellectual thought or a bad Facebook group. Or just any mediocre sphere in social working. It doesn't work. You can put your research into little sources that are trying. Not, not places like Free Domain Radio or that annoying Alex Jones site. Just do your research properly. It's not that difficult to find a good authority if you're going to make the fallacy of appealing to an authority. Going back to Sweden, Sweden is one of those things where they're beloved. They're the opposite of what America does. I like that buzzword, the opposite of what America does. As if this is a place that lets people starve and is full of famine and economic disparities of a French Revolution scale, when in reality it's a place of shitty reaction, it's a place of shitty people coming in, and terrible power changes. It's a place where People are literally treating the country as if it's their personal canvas for whatever ideology they have. In comes the Molyneux, in comes the Peter Josephs, in comes everybody. Just a bunch of uninspired ideologues. Sorry, that froze. I was concerned for a second. Going back to Sweden with its policies, the fact that Sweden is actually a place that didn't really have slavery, doesn't have a modern, at least doesn't have the Dominican slaves, the Haitians, doesn't have the Taino people, doesn't have a lot of those guys. And it's considering this, which really boggles me. When I look at the political sphere of the day and the morrow, it seems that we're dealing with a bunch of twisted personalities. We're dealing with the Sweden's, Obama's administration. Vladimir Putin, an Asiatic guy that is really becoming the savior of the West, ironically. It's a bunch of interesting stuff. I mean, I guess I could talk about Pussy Riot next video, but all I gotta say is that you gotta check your facts straight. If you're trying to be an honest liberal, which seems like an oxymoron, but alright. I guess liberals back in the day that revolted against monarchies and things of the past, they had more of an agenda. you got to really wonder what you're progressing against or progressing for. What's your goal? Anyway, this is Mr. Monka 7. And... Take care.